Hello everybody, so here is a video training sharing how I generated more than $300,000 from my side hustles and there's no product required and so this works even if you're starting completely from scratch or do not have a product or service to sell in the first place and with that, let's get started. So again, for those who don't know me, right, I was in the startup space, made quite a bit of money, uh, generated more than $5 million as a digital marketer um, and also became the number of for Tony Robbins, uh, now built a multiple six-figure coaching business for myself and this is what I help people doing with it. So I, watch, I made this video so that I get to add value to all of you guys and if some of you are my, uh, with my clients in the future, wonderful. If not, no problem at all. Enjoy this video, make some money with it and let me know once you have done so. Okay, so and so a very quick one before I ever begin, uh, what I've generated over the past couple of years, so uh, yes, I was number one affiliate for Tony Robbins, maybe 100,000 from there. Um, I've promoted multiple investing, business, marketing workshops, um, in, in terms of systems as well. Um, I've also promoted things like click funnels in terms of products, their software, their services, their books. Um, guests, I've also done multiple guest talks and from there I've helped people um, affiliate some of the product services as well and also some um, other programs, so on and so forth. So these are just some of the business, the, some of the general programs, product services that have helped generated in terms of my side hustles uh, as well. So well, who is this great for? So number one, you're a 9 to 5 employee who wants to consistently generate additional income every month. For number two, you're an aspiring entrepreneur who wants to grow a business that gives you freedom and flexibility. So you can do this as well. Number three, you're a current entrepreneur who wants to generate even more cash flow. So even right now, I do generate some income through side hustles uh, with less time, stress and effort. And number four is you're someone who has already paid for or attended a program workshop seminar before and don't mind promoting or sharing with our friends, especially if they are actually useful and beneficial. So very quickly, it's how it got started. Again, some of you have watched my video in other uh, channels as well. So my first ever program I uh, flitted for was the Knowledge Business Blueprint program by Tony Robbins, Dean Grozzi and Russell Brunson at the point of time 2019, um, how I got started. And uh, this is due to what I call affiliate marketing because I would have made $100,000 at the point of time if I was just selling my own stuff. So what I did is I promoted their stuff and from there, I made some money through affiliate marketing where someone actually buys something that was referred by me. So I don't have to do a delivery of the product. I just have to give them a link most of the time and then if they buy it, I'll actually earn something as well. So you do not need your own product or service to achieve success in affiliate marketing. So why do I love it? So number one, I increase additional cash flow fast while helping other people improve their lives. Number two, it works even if I'm starting from scratch or I do not have a product or service to sell. And number three is I've been learning a high income skill completely for free. So there are a lot of strategies, uh, skills and sales and marketing that I learned um, even through my time as an affiliate marketer for many years um, that I'm still using right now. So again, I learned all of this for, not just for free, but actually being paid to do so. And so this is what I love about affiliate marketing as well. It's a great way to learn sales and marketing even if you're new. And so when I got selected, uh, so things were pretty cool. Um, however, again, I was completely new to digital marketing. I was competing with successful seven and nine figure entrepreneurs and leaders. And I didn't really have anyone I knew who would buy a $2,000 product, which is what they were promoting. And uh, this one quote is the one that drove me a lot at the point of time, which was, it's not about resources, but resourcefulness that ultimately makes the difference for your success in business, finances, and life. And so what happened is, I will share with some strategies I did later. Um, yes, I was number 134th uh, around the um, entire world in 2019 where we just started out um, and made quite a bit of money from doing that. And also invited by Tony Robbins to go Las Vegas to meet him uh, to, to go for his appreciation event as well, which was pretty cool as you can see from the photos here. Um, so I was able to do this because I used what I call no-brainer marketing using these three simple steps. I'm going to share with you what I did in this training. However, the first things first, which is the tools of success. Number one, you must know what you're selling. If you don't know what you're selling or you haven't used it before, you haven't benefited personally, it's going to be quite difficult for you to actually sell. So for example, yes, I already know Tony Robbins. Uh, didn't really know Dean Graziosi. I already knew Russell Brunson. But what made me have the confidence to promote them in the first place was because I actually paid money beforehand to learn a little bit about what they're trying to sell in the first place. And if I didn't do that, I probably would have the confidence or the conviction to promote something. Again, if you're trying to sell something you have never done before or you have ever benefited from that companies or that trainers, speakers, other programs, um, you're trying to sell something that you ever used before, which I don't think is very authentic or not very nice. Again, you have to trust the person um, or the product that you've used so that when you sell it, it's going to be a lot more effective as well. Number two is you want to promote, don't spam. So what do I mean? The difference between don't promote and spam is basically is how relevant the message is for them. So for example, if I receive advertisements tomorrow about makeup, I would say it's a freaking spam because why? I don't use makeup. But however, if the ad was served to let's say my sister who loves makeup, for her, it would probably be pretty relevant. And to her, it's a relevant promotion message. 
Right? On the other hand, if my sister received advertisements for Facebook advertising causes, she would probably think it's a spam. But I would be like, okay, maybe it's something useful to learn. So again, only share about your product services to groups, committees, or people that are actually relevant to what we're promoting. And so this is how you are able to share. And even if the people say no, they'll be like, ah, no problem, right? Because uh, not for me right now, but thank you for sharing. Uh, but they won't feel that you're spamming them if um, they knew that it was something that you felt that was relevant to them in the first place. So with that, let's get started. Yeah? So the first strategy, the first step is to identify an established product or service you're already interested in. Because why? When you say make int- you're already interested in, it makes everything else easier. So this is one exercise I use called the circle of competence. It was uh, inspired by my value investing days, but it's used for business as well. So this is the big one, right? Which is, um, one, what do you spend or earn money from? So in my case, why I'm so confident to talk about promoting programs, seminars, because I've spent money of them. I spent more than $150,000 of them over the past 10 years. And this is something I'm very happy to promote, to share, because I've already spent uh, and earned money from them as well. Okay. So, examples of brands that I've already promoted, you can take a look, right? Which is Tony Robbins stuff, Russell Brunson, uh, Mind Valley, Mary Buffett, uh, ClickFunnels themselves, Grammarly, I use the software, Canva, I use the software as well, X Factor. So, all of these are some of the brands I promoted, which is yes, number one, I do trust them, I do trust uh, what they do. Number two is, I've already spent money on them, okay? So, how do you find products to promote in the first place? So, number one, you can just search company name affiliate program. So, chances are a lot of them will already have some form of affiliate program that you can use yourself. Okay. Um, for, for those who are wondering, there are two websites. That I don't really check it out here. Um, there's one called Clickbank. There's another one called uh, JV Zoo, if I'm not wrong. Or there's called Warrior Plus. There are multiple websites. But again, they have a, thousands of products to promote. But again, I recommend you to make sure to check them out. Make sure you know the person uh, before you actually promote a product or service. That's just my recommendation. I know a lot of people make a lot of money selling things that they don't use themselves. I get it. But I just like to sell what I'm actually um, using in the first place. Okay. Number two is ask sometimes uh, so for example one of my first uh, progress I actually flated for was this guy called Nishan right and again he was a world mem- one of the world memory champions of all time uh, over here Nishan and he did have a o- official flip program so all I did is hey Nishan right I'm just wondering if you would like me to if I could interview you to share about your message more my friends and family because I love what you talk about memory and stuff and he was like sure and by the way I have a link if anybody signs up my program through your link I'll pay you as well which I, do, which I got so again sometimes you can just ask people rather than you have a referral flip program for me to share about probably my friends I would love to support and feature because I really benefit so much thank you and interestingly you will get people who might want you to promote them again because why if you're only going to be paid when you get a successful sale from the business or entrepreneur's point of view they have no reason to say no to you right besides just creating the link and sending it to you so again, you can either search it online or you can ask the people you've already worked with in the first place. So number two, create an irresistible offer that's a no-brainer for people to sign up for. And so what do I mean? So there are three different kinds of offers uh, in this strategy. So number one, you can either do events and workshops. So for example, uh, one of the events where I made more than 30000 in one night is something I'm still very grateful for, where I actually invited all of my friends to come for my uh, presentation about master implementers for the very first time and I also had a guest uh, my, my friend Resh to share about investing and so at the end of the sharing uh, my mentor which my friend Resh would actually share about the investment program and when people sign up for the program I will also get paid a particular fee as well and so that's how I generated more than $30,000 in sales in one night and also I got a quite good, uh, good cut from it as well so number two is a one-to-one call so sometimes what you can do is you can just connect people on the one-to-one basis okay right and when you do that um, sometimes they will just connect together and you get a sale or a, a client from there then you make some money as well so sometimes you're just asking hey do you want a one-to-one call with him because you said that you are looking for this I think he can help you out can I just connect your two together so there's a personal call and the three is Sometimes it's just a direct link to purchase. So for example, in February, I just asked, would anybody want all of these product services? Um, people signed up, I got a cut, and then I made some money from it as well. Okay, so this is a direct link to purchase. Okay, so how do you make it more, you offer more attractive or even invisible to say no? There are five different things that I use. Number one is, I share the years of experience, okay, right, um, that, either myself or my coach or, or the trainer or the, the, the one offering the product service have 
gone into creating the product. So for example, if Tony Robbins and Dean Graziosi had a point time more than 40 years of combined business experience, I would share about that to make it more attractive. Number two, obviously, case studies and proof. The more case studies and proof you have about people who use the product or service, and the more you share them, the more likely people will buy or at least be interested about it. Number three, who has used it before? So you share about who has used it before, especially notable, notable names, celebrities, right, big brands, um, they are more likely to buy it. And four is how exactly they're going to benefit. So a lot of times people don't buy just because they're not clear about what they can benefit. So the, the clearer you are explaining it, the more likely people might buy from you as well. And number five, the cost of assessing the resources. So you can say, hey, by the way, I invested $2,000 um, in this program. You only get it for $300 because of this special one-time deal. We want it. So then they're more likely to buy it as well. So these are some examples of how to make your offer more attractive. Okay. So for example, quick one. And of course, free is great. Because for example, how I got number Flay for Tony Robbins is I started giving away my notes completely for free. I started giving it for free, my summary of the notes. And when people got the notes, people are more likely to buy and then um, um, use, using my link as well. Okay. So with that, number three. Uh, invite as many relevant people as possible to register for the no-brainer gift. So this is a gift, right? I give people um, by posting or DMs. So when to promote? So again, you can decide when you're promote. When there's a special limited time deal offer. When your friend mentioned they want to achieve a goal. When you see your friend facing a problem you can help solve. When you come across a good deal. When it's relevant to what you decide to post. When you need more cash or when you're already conducting a relevant workshop event. So again, there are multiple times you can, do, uh, you can have to promote. Uh, and usually I like to do it in terms of the no-brainer gift. Whether it's, again, back to workshop, events, or just a direct link to purchase as well. Okay, so again, what if I don't have people to promote my gift to? Again, this is like another quote, just a reminder, which is it's not about resources, uh, but it's always about resourcefulness. So examples of where to find. So when I first started, I just went all out, right? I went to invite my friends on WhatsApp, on Telegram. I messaged me on Facebook. I posted on Facebook. I emailed my list. Uh, I didn't post on TikTok at that I didn't have it. I actually went to YouTube comments to share with people the link for them to register for the event. Um, to assess my free notes, I went to Quora, answer people's questions, promoted my link there, Twitter, Facebook ads, so on and so forth. So, so again, uh, there are thousands of ways you can do to promote the stuff. The question is how resourceful are you? So again, you can either again you can do it either by DM, by messaging people directly. So this is just an example of a DM script. Hey, hey, right, you're looking for this. I thought this could be useful for you. Again, you want to personalize and contextualize your message instead of just spamming everybody. So apparently you got some amazing results. So how do you make it more exciting? Whatever result they created. And pretty popular people, like if you know anybody who has worked with them, for example, Tony Robbins, it will be Hugh Jackman, Usher, uh, Oprah, whoever, right? I could mention there, have used it too. I've also used it myself. I was able to. So again, if you do have any specific results of that, say, I've used it myself and I also enjoy it because I've learned a lot of this, 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 XXX. Okay? Not sure if you're interested or want to find out more to get more details. Okay, so I'll send them. Oh, I can do a post. So for example, when I was promoting one of my clients' uh, digital productivity program, um, I would share about my the system that I used actually, and then I'll ask people who are interested in the first place. So I got 170 comments in total, and then a lot of them sign up for the workshop that I was promoting, and then people would buy from my client, and then I'll get a cut of the fee as well. Okay, again, a nice example is a direct link, direct post. Uh, own, so this one, usually do it only if you know that what you're promoting is something that people already trust and would already happily buy for. Okay, so a quick recap again. Identify an established product and service to promote. Number two, design an irresistible, usually free offer to invite folks to sign up, either through events, direct calls, or link to purchase. And number three, invite as many relevant people as possible, either through DMs or contact. Okay, so if not, hope you guys enjoyed that very quick training. If you want our unlimited personal support to make extra 10 to 30,000 of a month while enjoying lifestyle business, um, either click on the first link in the description below or DM me community on Facebook, um, in DM me info on Facebook, or if you're not greedy yet, you can always grab my, some of my best stuff for free on Facebook, in my email newsletter, or even my YouTube channel. If not, hope you just enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.